there. January just flew by, didn't it? It was just like there and then it was gone. This is I Capture the Castle by Dodie Smith. This is the first book I read in January. I really, really like this book. Did a review. And in that review, I rave and rave and rave and rave and rave. Because this book is just, 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 just a maze. Yeah. The next book I read is this. This is The Dead Care by James Dashner. This is the final book in the Maze Runner series. And I was kind of disappointed. Just a little bit smidgen disappointed. Actually, I was disappointed a lot. I probably am going to give this book like 2.5 or 3 out of 5. So that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, probably going to do a book review and a book talk about this. So I will talk more about that or this in that video. And the last book I read in January is this. This is The Diviners by Libby Bray. It was amazing. The writing of this book is so, so good. So good. And it's in the 1920s and you so feel that. You feel the 1920s-ness in your bones. Not really, just in your head. You know, because you can't feel things in your bones except for calcium and stuff. You can't really feel calcium, I don't think. Unless you get calcium tablets, then you can feel them. This is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion, and I have already read this. I read this in February, at like the very beginning of February for the YT Book Club. I really like this book, and I'm really excited for the movie, and I have so many good things to say about this, and I'm thinking of doing like a book to movie review of this and the movie when I watch it, so when I watch the movie I'm probably going to do a video about this, so look forward to that, because I really liked it, and I like this cover, and also, in front of the chapters in this book, it has like these pictures of body parts and stuff, like hearts, and you know, all that other jazz, that's a, it's a diagram of an eye, and there's a heart, heart for, for Valentine's Day, my present to you. The next book I plan on reading is this. This is The Book Thief by Marx Zusak. Really excited about this. Really, really excited. Um, don't know what it's about still, but I am excited to read because so many people like it and I hopefully will like it too. The next book I want to read is this. This is The Storm of Swords Part 1, Steel and Snow by George R. R. Martin. I have tried to read this, but this is how far I got. Page 22. So pathetic. The reason I haven't gotten really far in this is because I've started to read the moon with Laura, but then I've just been like, so many books are coming my way and I want to be able to read them and not be stuck in this book. I know I will enjoy this book so, so much, but I also know that it's going to take me like a good two weeks to get through it and so many books are coming that I really, really want to read and this is just going to take up so much, so much of my time. So yes, hopefully I'll find some time in February to read this. And now on to my special TBR book. I would like to read more series because everyone on booktube seems to be saying that they have too many series and they need to finish some of their series this year and they're just overwhelmed and I would like to feel some of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a list of series that I'm interested in and maybe want to read and I would like you to choose one of those, the one that you want me to read and leave a comment saying that and then I will count up your votes or your comments and I will see which book series got the most and I will read that series. So yes, you get to vote for what I read. Really cool. Viewer's choice thing for one of the books that I read in February. Really cool. And basically actually lots of books that I read probably because it's going to be a series. So yeah, these are the books that I have chosen as options. I've written them down in this red book. Very very interesting. Um, so the first series is The Iron Fae by Julie Kagwa. This is the Iron King series. The next book is The Tiger Saga by Colleen Hauk, and that is the Tiger's Curse books. The next book series is Eon by Alison Goodman, and this is actually a duology, but I'm accepting it. It's okay. So it's Eon and Iona by Alison Goodman. The next book is Under the Never Sky by Veronica Rossi. I think that's the only book in the series that's out at the moment, but I think the next book is coming out this year, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, yeah. The next book is Legend by Marie Lu. I think Prodigy just came out and everyone seems to be liking it so much and saying so many good things about it. So, maybe I should read that series, you tell me. And then Inheritance by Christopher Paolini. That's the one with dragons, you guys. It's middle grade, I think. Um, but I'm okay with reading that because I like middle grade books. They're awesome. Um, yeah. And the next 
series, the last series, is the Millennium series by Stieg Larsson, which is the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. So, choose one of those series, only one, just one, and leave a comment telling me which series I should read, and I'll count up your votes, and choose the series that I should read based on how many votes. You know how it works, voting, it works like that. So yeah, really excited about that. And if you have any recommendations for me for other books that you would like for me to read that are not on my list, then please tell me about them because I would like to hear what you have to say because you guys are smart and awesome and you know your stuff. And now it's time for my January favorites. So these are the things I like the best from January. Well, well, well. I had a really hard time choosing between, um, I Captured the Castle and Diviners, or the Diviners, from my favorite book of January. It was really hard, but I had to go with this, because I like it so much, and it's kind of more my cup of tea. These are the kind of books that I like, because I like them, and I, I really liked both of these books so, so much, and it was really hard to choose, but this one is just, it's more me. It suits me better, and I really liked it, so this is my favorite book of January. My favorite movies. I have so many movies that I liked. So many, and I'm not going to tell you about all of them, like describe them to you. Um, so I will leave the trailers to every movie I mention, and I'll leave links to everything I say in this video in the bottom bar below so you can check it out. Um, so the first movie, I'm going to go in order of how, I, how much I liked them. The first movie that I really liked in January was Rick and Ralph. I liked that movie so much. I think, I think I like it better than Up. That's huge for me. Huge! Because Up is amazing. Oh, up is amazing. Um, but yeah, Rick and Ralph is such a fun, awesome, just incredible movie. Watch it. Next is Looper. I have waited so long to watch Looper and I finally watched it and why did I wait so long? Because it was awesome. The ending, you guys. What the hell is going on with the ending? I went online after I watched the movie to like see what people are saying about the ending so that I could, you know, know what was going on and Everyone was arguing and no one was saying the answer, and I want the answer. What's the answer? My gosh, I want to know what's going on. Tell me. I really like that movie. It was so amazing. Like, it's just, ooh. The next movie I really enjoyed was Life of Pi. Um, this was awesome. I was on the edge of my freaking seat the whole way through this movie. It was so intense. Tiger on a boat with a human, and it was just so much tension. And my last favorite movie of this month was Paranorman. Um, this was so unexpected. It was so much wittier and smarter than I thought it would be. Like, it's for children, but it was so much fun to watch and so witty and it made me laugh so much. Like, it's supposed to be like a zombie kind of horror. Not really a horror. I mean, it's animation. I mean, you know, it's that kind of genre. Paranormal, Paranorman. But it's awesome. My favorite trailers for January, yes, trailers, that's a category for me, um, was Upside Down and Wizard of Oz. Those two trailers were amazing. Go check them out and go watch the Upside Down trailer on IMDb, not YouTube, because the music is better on IMDb and there's a scene that kind of, it's not as built up as it is on the YouTube trailer. Go watch it on IMDb because there's a scene with gravity and water and air where someone is kind of flying but not really flying falling and it just gave me chills gave me freaking chills and then wizard of oz you guys i mean come on james franco michelle williams just it was so awesome looking go check out that trailer can't wait for those movies my favorite tv shows for january was southland and suits southland is a cop show but it's very realistic and very awesome and it's made me cry so many times. Too many to be like okay with. Um, I started watching it in January and the next season is coming in like March I think and I'm catching up and there's just not enough shows of this TV show. Like it's just oh my gosh. It has Regina King in it and Benjamin McKenzie and all these amazing actors and Lucy Liu I think is in the next season, not the season that's coming but the next season that I have to watch which is season 4 I think I'm up to or season 3, I don't know, but it's just amazing, you should watch it. And Suits, Suits is written so so well, like it's just awesome and I like it so much and it's just, it's just such a good show. 
My favorite song of January has been Seven Devils by Florence and the Machine. For some reason, I've, I've started running again in January because it's kind of, you know, New Year, my new fitness thing that's gonna last not that long, but every time I run, for some reason I always go to that song and I play it and I don't know, it helps me to run and I like it, so, yeah. My favorite food, or actually snack as much, has been this. This is Coconut Slab by Whitakers. It's chocolate, it's coconut, I love it, it's so good, and I like it so much, and you should have it. I don't know if it, they sell it outside of Australia and New Zealand, but it's good. So then the last section is miscellaneous. I feel kind of weird sharing this to you, but I'm gonna, because I don't normally share books. Um, but this is my favorite clothing item that I bought. It's a jumper hoodie thing from ASOS, and it's green. I went on ASOS with express intention of buying something green, and so I bought this. And it has hashtags on it. I don't know why, but I'm not even, like, that big into Twitter. I used to be, but I'm not anymore. But just the idea that there are hashtags on here, it just, it's good. It, I like it. It's just, oh, good. Goodness. I like green, too. Green is an awesome color. I didn't have anything green, so I was like, I need green stuff. So that is it. Don't forget to vote in the comments section below and tell me which book to read from this series is. And tell me what book you're going to read or are reading right now. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment and all that other stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye!